Here with the coach, it's Mark Lafay. The Dayton Demons take down the Thousand Islands Privateers 7-3. Good game, coach. Yeah, it was good. It was satisfying victory. Uh, a little bit of everything. A couple shorthanded goals, uh, a couple penalty shot goals. Um, you know, it was overall good performance. I thought, you know, we were a little sluggish in the first period, but, uh, you know, I think some guys are new here, still getting used to each other, and uh, but overall, I, I can't be happy. Six out of seven goals came from Ahmed Mahfouz and Jesse Felton. Two hat tricks tonight. I believe that happened uh, once or twice earlier in the season, but still an amazing accomplishment for number 19 and number 20. Well, like I've said, I think, you know, Mahfouz is the MVP of the league. He's been our best player all year, I think, top to bottom. Um, you know, Felton's our captain. I expect performances like that out of him. Uh, he's got back-to-back -back hat tricks now in back-to-back -back games. So, you know, it seems to be somebody else every night that's chipping in uh, with the offense. And, um, you know, those two guys are leaders on our team. I expect a lot of them. Rose also has solid performance in the net tonight as well. Well, right now I think he's the best goal in the league right now. Um, he's the reason we're winning, I think. Uh, he's made some key saves when guys are getting a bit lazy in our own zone. And, um, you know, he, he deserved his goalie of the month last month. Uh, he's been, you know, he's taken over the number one role for Jerry Festa when he left. And uh, he's stepped up to the plate. Big win for the Demons. That's the tenth win in a row, the second time this season that that's happened. Yeah, now I know I owe the guys breakfast. I mean, that's our deal. They went ten in a row. I take them out for breakfast, so it's uh, no, they deserve it. I mean, uh, you know, won ten in a row. Um, you know, they, they find ways to win this team all year, no matter who's in the lineup, who's out of the lineup. They always find ways to win. Um, you know, I'm I'm so satisfied right now with our performance. But you know, like I said, it's it's you know in our earlier interview, it's. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done between now and the finals. So uh, we got to keep going here. We got to keep winning games, finding ways to win, uh, improve on some things, and uh, overall, you know, just keep going. Thousand Islands back at Hare Arena tomorrow night, 7:35. Then Danville Sunday at four. Uh, anything to prepare differently for the Thousand Islands uh, again tomorrow? We should have a better start. I think uh, tonight we came a little bit sluggish. I think me because you know that was his first game tonight. Um, you know, and we did, we had a day off yesterday. We didn't skate. We skated this morning. Um, I think a couple of days off kind of hurt us a little bit. Got us off to a slow start. But, that, I mean, was, that's all it is. You know, we find ways to win, like I said. But we just got to, you know, come up with a more consistent effort. Dayton takes on Thousand Islands tomorrow at 730. You can catch the game on the Ohio Sports Radio Network. Coach, as always, thanks for your time. Thanks. Appreciate it. Here are Chris Lavie, the newest Dayton Demons to skate here at Hare Arena. And the Demons win over the Thousand Islands Privateers 7-3 to tonight. Chris, welcome to Dayton. Yeah, thanks. It's uh, nice to come to a, a first place team and kind of fit right in. I know a lot of the guys, so uh, when it was pretty easy welcoming them here. Now, I know it's just one game you've been here at Dayton wearing a Demons jersey. But at the same time, what are some of the differences you've seen between the Williamsport Outlaws and the Dayton Demons environment and just everything that goes wrong? Well, obviously it's an indoor rink, so that's a big advantage to start. Um, I think the coach is a little bit more experienced when it comes to what's going on on the ice and things like that. And then just just the depth that's on this team. I mean, from the first line to the third line, it's uh, everybody can play. So, I mean, it makes it a little bit easier. Now, what's some of your uh, history with this wonderful sport of hockey? Uh, I've played, this is my fifth year. Uh, the last four years I've been in uh, the SPHL uh, for the Fable Fire Ants. Fairvale Fire Ants. They were winning against uh, Columbus, uh, the Cottonmouths, 2-1 to one earlier today. Oh, okay. But that's not the point. The point is, uh, welcome to Dayton. And what do you um, what do you see yourself adding on to this uh, Dayton Demons team? Uh, you know, I just try and chip in with goals and points and, uh, you know, be responsible in the D zone and, and just work hard. And, I mean, hopefully you guys can build off that and we'll see what happens. Chris, thanks for the interview and good luck tomorrow, right? Thank you. I appreciate it. You're listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network. Here with Tim Riccio, one of the newest member of the uh, Dayton Demons squad, and the Demons defeat Thousand Islands 7-3 tonight. Welcome to Dayton. Thank you very much. Now, you've been with the Demons a little bit longer. Uh, what are some of the differences you can draw out between the Williamsport Outlaw experience and the Dayton Demons experience? Uh, a lot of it's just confidence. I mean, even if we you know, go down by a goal or so early, I mean, we just, no one panics. Like, we know we're coming back. Um, you know, I mean, we, like, you know, like tonight, I mean, we got down early, but, you know, we didn't panic. We knew we were going to come back and score more goals and shut them down defensively, and that's what we did. How do you like playing so far at Hare Arena in Montgomery County in front of the uh, Demons Faithful? 
Uh, it's a lot better playing uh, for the demons here in this arena than playing against them. Uh, we had a couple rough games here, and I was with Williamsport, and definitely better being on this side of it. You played your home games with Williamsport on an outdoor rink based, built on a baseball field. What was that experience like? Uh, it was definitely, I mean, it was definitely an experience. Uh, you know, being the first pro team to play all of its games outdoors, and not only play games, but have to practice and stuff like that. Have to deal with the weather. You know, we had a couple games rained out. We had a couple practices rained out or snowed out or whatever. So it was kind of annoying, but at the same time, I mean, it was, it was cool to play outside. Like I said, welcome to Dayton. How do you think the uh, game went tonight against the Privateers? Um, you know, I mean, it went pretty well. We got, uh, we, you know, we kind of got off to a slow start. There's a few mistakes. Uh, but, I mean, like I said, we know one panicked. We, you know, we knew we were the, the better team. And, you know, we just came back and did our jobs the rest of the way and, you know, had a good game. Demons play Thousand Islands again tomorrow night at 7.35, and you catch the game here in the Ohio Sports Radio Network. And, Tim, thanks for your time. Thank you. You're listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network. Your brain Mets of Dayton Demons, and Dayton defeats Thousand Islands 7-3 tonight. Good game tonight, Mets. Thank you very much. Now, I know I asked you, I asked you how you like about Dayton, what was it like playing in the ECHL. What does it mean to put a Dayton Demons jersey on? Uh, it's good. It's uh, exciting because every night you're uh, you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, but uh, it, it's it's fun winning, and uh, at the end of the day, that's all we're concerned about. Now, for the younger fans of hockey that are just getting into the sport, uh, do you have any um, you have any advice for any of them? Like things to practice, things to watch, as in moving the puck around and scoring goals. Um. Yeah. Just take every opportunity you can to uh, get on the ice and skate and, and try things. Just watch guys and uh, practice what you see them do, and hopefully you'll get there one day. Who's your favorite hockey player? My favorite hockey player would be uh, Yarmer Yager, but uh, right now it's Jesse Felton. The guy's on fire. Uh, Dayton Demons forward, uh, captain of the Dayton Demons. Uh, the guy should be in the NHL. You also got to like um, that Ahmad Mafu's guy and that Jeff Rose guy. They should also be in the NHL, along with you too, right? Uh, not so much, but Jesse, Jesse felt, and uh, I tell you, if there's a scout out there watching this, you got to come to a Demons game. This guy's got the whole package. Who's your, who's your least favorite hockey player? Um, probably have to be uh, Jason Hill, my line mate. Uh, he's just grumpy lately. Uh, we're trying to figure it out as teammates, but it's just not happening. Mets, <laughs> talking about Jason Hill, the uh, two A's, uh, assistant captains on the team, along with Jesse Felton, the captain of the Dayton Demons. Tomorrow night's against the Thousand Islands Privateers. Um, what are you looking forward to against round two with uh, the uh, Pirates of the Federal Hockey League? I mean, when I'm on the bench, I'm just watching Jesse Felton. But uh, other than that, I ho hopefully we can get a win and uh, keep this positive attitude rolling. It's Braden Metz of Dayton Demons. Dayton defeats Thousand Islands 7-3 to tonight. Braden, thanks for the interview. Thank you, sir. You're listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network. Hey, Demons fans, it's a shutout. The Demons defeat the Thousand Islands Privateers by a score of 12 to nothing. And I'm joined by Coach Mark Lefebvre. Coach, how are you feeling after that victory? Uh, very satisfied. You know, um, we had a little bit of everything tonight. Everybody stepped up to the plate. Uh, you know, it's satisfying for me because I coached there last year. And, uh, you know, the play the way we did tonight was one of our best performances of the year. Got contributions from everybody from the goaltender on the way out. And, uh, you know, if we're going to win this year, we're going to have to have performances like that. 12-0 was the final score. Two hat-tricks again. Four hat-tricks in the series against Thousand Islands tonight. It's Hill and Mafus picks up another hat-trick. Is there any term for two hat-tricks? No. I just got a double hat-trick, I guess. But, uh, you know, like I said, we're getting contributions from everybody. You know, I think Foos the MVP of the league. Um, you know, we can make a good argument for Hill. You can make a good argument for any player on our team that won MVP of the league right now. But, you know, like you said, we got so much depth in our lineup that you know, if it's one line not going one night, another line's going to pick it up, and, you know, and vice versa. So every every line's going, everyone's contributing, and uh, that's what you like to see. And the Demons also chased away Matt Anthony with about five minutes left to go in that first period. And we've seen, uh, seen that happen uh, 
earlier a couple weeks ago against Danville, but at the same time to chase away a caliber of a goalie like that and Matt Anthony, that's that's smashing. Um, you know, I think he's one of the better goalies in the league. I think right now him and Rose are the two best goalies in the league, and that's we've done twice last uh, three times we played against him. We've gone chasing it. I mean that. He, if they're going to win hockey games, he's going to be their best player. And, um, you know, if we're going to chase him, you know, it makes us, uh, you know, better. It makes our uh, our job a lot easier. We chase him from the net, um, you know. But, you know, for them to win, like I said, he's going to be on top of his game. He's played some great games against us this year. And, uh, but we got so much scoring power that, uh, you know, it's hard to keep us uh, from scoring. Dayton defeats Thousand Islands 12 to nothing tonight. A big victory. And that's the 11th straight victory for the Demons. That's the most this season. Coach, great game tonight, and thank you for the post-game show, all right? Appreciate it. Thanks, Lee. You're listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network. Dane Demons record the second shutout as a franchise by uh, knocking down the Thousand <laughs> Islands Privateers 12 to nothing. Join with Ahmed Mahfouz to my far left and Jason Hill to my immediate left. Gentlemen, how are you doing tonight? Good, pretty good. Great. Big win against the Privateers, second shutout of the franchise's history. Big, big game. Both of you guys got uh, hat tricks tonight. Yep, definitely. How do you guys? Hi, Beans. How do you guys? Uh, how do you guys feel after that performance tonight? Uh, well, it was pretty good performance. Uh, you know, from uh, every single line, every single player, our goaltender played uh, phenomenal and just easy you know you play in front of uh, great fans yeah, like this 88 yeah uh yeah so i mean all in all whole team and uh jeff rose played great in that and it's easy to get up and play in front of these fans so hey you can't say much more about it other than that we just had a team effort and it just worked out for us now, I know the first time I interviewed you guys, I asked how you like playing in Dayton, and I hate to reuse the same question, but now we're a little bit later into the season, heading towards playoffs. Any any change of feelings? Any more love for the fans? Any more dislike for the fans? You might you might ask him. <laughs> yeah, no. The, hey, all the fans have been great day in and day out. They come out and they get louder and louder. So I can't wait for the playoffs to come around, and hopefully we can uh, treat them to a show then. Yes, for sure. Same thing. You know, he's, uh, a lot of guys, you know, sometimes a lot of us took an oath in the beginning of this that uh, you never fall in love in the Jersey Shore. Same thing, you never fall in love in Dayton, but some of the players might have. We don't know, but uh, it's, all, it's all fun here. Hill and Mafuz get hat tricks tonight. Uh, six out of the 12 goals scored by the Demons. It's the second shutout in a franchise history. And Beans, he was a big part of it, too. He keeps getting underneath me. He wants an interview as well. Um, I have a separate question for both you guys. Now, as the assistant captain, I think I might have asked this before. I don't remember, but as assistant captain, is there any more pressure on you uh, when you have the A on the jersey? Yeah, well, I mean, unfortunately, you just got to be to practice on time and you got to make games on time. So, you know, that's not, you know, it's not too fun. But um, no, I'm just joking. Uh, there's no, there's no added pressure. You know, it's just, uh, it's real easy because. It's a team sport, and uh, when you got as good a team as our, we do and our goalies and our coaching staff and uh, everyone who works for our program, I mean, Alex Demuccia, she's one of the, uh, the best PR girls slash managers slash assistant coaches in the league, so she uh, does very well, and she's watching my dog as we speak. So, And, oh, my man Brownie, he's the best. He's the best uh, assistant equipment guy. He does everything you want, and uh, he's pretty good at a uh, little kick, kickball slash uh, sewer ball before we play. He plays a little soccer back in his day, so. Now, Ahmed, uh, during the beginning of the season, we've seen a lot of fights with you taking down the opposition. It's been cooled down a little bit, and I know hockey's not about the fighting. It's about the athleticism st skating on the ice. What are some of the secrets to kicking butt on the ice and just taking down the opposition? Uh, there's no secrets about it. You just, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen, and you got to be, you want, you got to want it more than the other guy. If uh, you don't put the guy down, he's going to put you down. So you got to be the guy on top. <clears throat> That's about her. Jason? That's the, secret. Yeah. That's the secret. That is the secret. On private. Until 
until the Commissioner's Cup is won in the Federal Hockey League. Then we might have the public. I'm joined with... Left. These guys are calling it tricks. Uh, Coach called it a double hat trick. And the Demons shot out. Gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. You're listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network.